Hey, aloha my internet family. How are you doing this weekend? Welcome back to Practical Printing. You guys ready to have some fun and learn something new? Let's do it. Okay, so this week we're going to start off with um, a couple of quick thank yous to people out there. Uh, the first one is I wanted to throw out a special thank you to Jeffrey Wright of the Print 3D channel. Um, Jeff created that great intro that you just saw um, before me coming back to the camera. And uh, so he got that great intro for us and we're going to start rolling with that every week. Um, so Jeffrey, thank you. Next I wanted to move on to something that came in the mail uh, for my buddy Curtis up at Lucky 13 Vinyl. Um, this came through a week or so ago and I haven't had a chance to show it off but uh, Curtis does vinyl stickers. He does a great job. He's done some for uh, Heather and Travis up at Apyro Design and I believe some others out there and he was able to create the practical printing logo uh, into a sticker. Let's see if we can get that to focus. Yeah. So once that vinyl is applied, it comes up looking something a little bit like that. Did a really, really nice job. So Curtis, thank you very much. Um, second thing I wanted to show you guys on that note is um, Paul Yanzik, or CNC Padwan on Twitter, uh, of Souks Designs out in South Dakota, created this for me and we're gonna start trying to grab that in camera on the printer let me slide over here and hit the lights quick so we can see what that looks like came out really good and it actually cycles through colors there's a pink white red green blue yellow and the darker blue so paul thank you that's going to be an awesome add to the channel and we're going to try to make sure that sits near the printers um want to set this up when i'm printing so some of the rooms that i'm filming time lapses in i need to leave the lights on in the room and the wife and the kids don't always necessarily know that so they'll they're well trained, hopefully, if they see a light on, nobody in the room, they hit the switch. So I'm going to kind of use this as an on-air sign to set it by the printers so that they know if they see the, the practical printing sign lit up that it's time for them um, to leave the lights on and walk away from the room. Okay, so now let's get to the meat and potatoes of why we're all here today. Um, a few weeks ago on the Friday night 3D printing community hangout, uh, we were talking about print troubleshooting and I mentioned the Simplify 3D guide as the printer's bible. Um, it's a great resource. So I wanted to take a minute and show you that as well as a few other online tools to uh, help you help yourself troubleshoot your own prints. Um, so let's jump over to the browser here and let me see what I can show you. Okay, so. The first one is the Simplify 3D site that I mentioned, and I will have links down to, to all these pages down in the comments. Um, the Simplify 3D Print Quality Troubleshooting Guide is very comprehensive, and it covers everything from under extrusion, over extrusion, layer shifting, uh, grinding filament, you know, weak infill, uh, vibrations and ringing, uh, lines on the side. And if you click on any of them, it will jump you down to that section of troubleshooting and give you some general tips, um, as well as the things to look for to try to, uh, to eliminate that problem. Um, it, it starts off pointing you towards slicer settings that, that would apply, uh, but it can also point you towards mechanical issues that you may want to look at on your printer. So it's a really good, good guide to troubleshooting. Now, I know you're going to say, I don't use Simplify 3D. Well, I mean, I do, but you don't, or you may not. You might use 
uh, Curie, you may use Slicer, uh, or any, any number of programs out there. But, and the settings may have slightly different names in those other slices, but as a whole, pretty much everything that they talk about can translate from one slicing program to another. Um, for example, if you're not extruding enough, you could have the incorrect filament diameter, or you could have an, uh, you may need to increase your extrusion multiplier. And I, I do want to say that while this is a great guide, it's not the ultimate end all to end all. A lot of problems are combinations of these things. So whatever you do, it's going to take some time to dial it in. But this is a great place to start trying to, uh, to find your own problems. All right, so the, the second site I wanted to point out also was over on Matter Hackers. They have a how-to section. And it covers a lot of topics. Um, now, again, they are more specific or more tailored towards the products that they carry. But, for example, uh, they talk about how to succeed with printing PLA, and they give you some great advice, have some links to some of their YouTube videos. They'll tell you about the different filaments, um, you know, what the materials are made of, where, the, where it comes from, that sort of thing. And then they'll get right into, um, you know, tips on how to print it. So that is another great resource for you. And the last place I wanted to point out here is actually it's a couple of different pages from the 3 site. Rigid Inc. has this um, really great ultimate guide to 3D printing. Uh, you can go through, I'll put the link for this down below, but you go through, you put in your name and your email address, and then they'll send you a link to this. Um, it is a really good guide. Let me go over to the guide itself here. Really good guide that if, if, you're, a, if you're a novice, if you're a beginner, um, it's a great place to start learning about different types of printers, the FDM versus FFF, etc as well as talks about the different um, the different materials you know how to choose your printer but then it also starts going into printing techniques and problem solving so I will include a link to this as well the other thing that Ridge Inc has on their website too is they do have kind of guides on how to uh, succeed with their filaments again with this one I pulled up is for Petgy because that's one of my favorites and it's also a little bit trickier to print than your your general PLA because it tends to string more you need to tweak your retraction settings and such um, conversely some of the stuff that they show as an example for pr printing PETG is slightly different than what matter hackers may show on their site so read them both both uh, and find the settings that work best for your printer, but it's a good place to, to start trying to dial in when you're experiencing um, or moving towards other plastics that you want to experiment with. It's a really good one for that. And those was everything. Um, there was one more thing on Rigid Ink site here too. They also do have a get started thing here, um, which actually is kind of a filament choosing guide. Now, mind you, I'm not endorsing Rigid Ink here. Um, I've printed with their sample packs that they've sent me, and it is a wonderful filament. Uh, it prints very nicely. Uh, but my intention here isn't to endorse them. I'm just simply pointing out their website as a resource. Um, that get started link there kind of takes you through a question and answer type session of to help you choose the right filament for what you want to print um, whether PLA or ABS or PETG may be the best thing for your needs for a particular project so it's um, it's, it's very useful okay so that's all I have for you this week on practical printing I hope you've found these links and these these pointers useful for you to help you troubleshoot and diagnose your own problems. Uh, the community will always be here to help you, whether it's on Facebook, Reddit, or wherever you go looking for help. But if you want to kind of get a leg up and um, have a better understanding of things that we might be telling you um, to look at, 
uh, these websites provide a great place to go looking for those answers and to build your own knowledge. Um, you said, I, I always refer to that Simplify 3D guide as the 3D printing troubleshooting Bible uh, because it's very comprehensive and it's a great place to go. So that's all I have for you. Um, if you like what we're doing here, uh, please remember to hit the, the thumbs up button down below and be sure that you subscribe. Um, at the time of this release, we're still running our 100 subscriber thank you giveaway. So you have about a week and a half left on that. So I will have the link for that as well down below. If you have not signed up to win, we are giving away of Atomic Pearlescent Blue uh, PLA. And um, we're actually partnering with Matt over on how I do it for the giveaway. He's giving away a maker box and I put a link to him down below as well. So if you're catching this um, before, that, before that contest ends, make sure that you enter and get your chance to win. With that, I wish you aloha and have a great weekend.